Iman Ghazi's captivating video animations have inspired countless video editors. While these effects are typically created using After Effects, the software's steep learning curve can be daunting. For beginners, even just seeing AI's interface can feel intimidating. But here is the good news. With Filmora, one of the easiest to use editing tools, you can achieve the same advanced effects with just a little effort, no matter your skill level. Today, I'll show you how to recreate these effects using Filmora on PC. Let's start by exploring an awesome new tool in Filmora, Planar Tracking. Click on new project and import your video, then add it to the timeline. I'll be using this clip, which currently looks like this before editing. Here is how to activate planar tracking. Go to the video tab on the right, then click AI tools and activate planar tracking. After that, select advanced mode. It is very important to move the playhead to the beginning of the video. The next step is to drag the four corner nodes to align with the tablet corners or any moving object in your video. For accuracy, choose high from the options, then click analyze and wait for the process to complete. Now we will add the video we want to display on the device's screen, select import from computer under the link element and choose the video. The final step is to align it with the main video. Here is how my video looks after editing. Now let's learn how to create a 3D perspective using keyframe animation. Here is how my video looks before editing. Iman Ghazi's captivating video animations have inspired countless video editors. The first step is to add a grid image above the main video on the timeline. You can download it for free using the link in the description of this video. We'll align it with the video and then trim the necessary part. I'll be removing the first part. The next step is to click on it and then enlarge it on the right side to fit the background. After that we will go to the mask tab and select the linear mask. We'll rotate it like this, then adjust the blur strength to achieve this effect. After that, we'll position it in the lower part of the video and return to the basic tab and slightly reduce the opacity. Now we will go to the animations tab and add a fade in at the beginning and a fade out at the end. By moving the keyframes, we can easily adjust the duration of the animations. Next, we'll add the images or videos to the project and set them up to create a 3D perspective effect. I'll show you an example with this image and you can apply the same steps to other images or videos. We'll align it with the grid image below, and then go to the basic tab to adjust the size and position. We're going to position it where we want the image to appear in the video and then we're going to add position keyframes at the same points as I added in this example. Now adjust the y-axis at the beginning so the image moves out of the frame and then repeat the same steps at the end. This will create a smooth animation of the image moving. Now let's make the animation better. Right click on the image, then select show keyframe animation, click on the y-axis, right click the keyframe and choose the animation you like. I chose these out animations. When you're done, right click and select hide keyframe animation. Now, let me show you how to make this image 3D. Just go to the effects tab, click on video effects, then under the basic sub tab, find the basic 3D effect and drag it onto your image. Now on the right side, click on the effects tab. Position the playhead where you want the 3D animation to start, then add the rotate and tilt keyframes. After that, at any point, we can adjust the settings to create a 3D perspective animation that looks simple and professional. Then at the end point, we can reset the settings to their original values. This type of animation is very popular and used by many content creators to enhance their videos. After editing, my 3D animation looks like this. Iman Ghazi's captivating video animations have inspired countless video editors. Now, let's move on to creating the next cool animation. The animation looks like this. We need to add a talking head video to the timeline, then place an animated background above it. I'll be using the wavy grid background, which you can download for free via the link in the description. The next step is to add the talking head video on the top of the other videos. Then lower the volume and remove the background. To remove the background, click on AI tools in the video tab on the right and activate AI portrait cutout. This will remove the background in just a few seconds. 
Now, let's position the playhead where we want the animation to start, then go to the basic tab and add a position keyframe. Next, move to where you want the animation to end and adjust the Y axis so the person is no longer in the frame. Right click the video and select show keyframe animation. After that, right click on the keyframe and choose the animation you like. I used ease out animation for this video. After that, right click on the video and then click on hide keyframe animation. The next step is to click on the background and create a fade in animation. We will do this by adding a keyframe for opacity and then reducing the opacity a few frames before that. After editing, the cutout animation should look like this. Now I'm going to show you a cool trick to create a 3D spinning logo animation. Add the logo to the timeline, then set the duration to 2 seconds. The next step is to adjust the size to your preference in the basic tab. After that you can adjust the opacity and other settings to your liking. The next step is to go to the Effects tab, open the Video Effects sub tab, click on Basic and drag the Basic 3D effect onto the logo. Now, click on the Effects tab on the right side of the screen. After that, add a Rotate keyframe at the start of the logo image. Go to the end of the logo image, then the next step is to type 360 degrees under Rotate option. To loop the effect, simply duplicate the clip as many times as you want the effect to last. After editing, the animation looks like this. Editing videos like Iman Ghazi with Filmora is this easy. Download Filmora today and create stunning professional effects effortlessly. If you want to learn how to create animated videos in Filmora, watch this video. If you are interested in creating useful video effects, check out the video on the right. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more useful videos.